Poems Every Child Should Know, edited by Mary E. Burt. Section 21. Read for LibriVox.org by Kara Schallenberg. This section contains just one poem, Hiawatha's Childhood. Hiawatha needs no commendation. Hundreds of thousands of children in our land know snatches of it. It is a children's poem, every line of it. One summer in Boston more than fifty thousand people went to take a peep at the poet's house. By the shores of Gichigumi, by the shining big sea water, stood the wigwam of Nokomis, daughter of the moon, Nokomis. Dark behind it rose the forest, rose the black and gloomy pine trees, rose the firs with cones upon them, bright before it beat the water, beat the clear and sunny water, beat the shining big sea water. There the wrinkled old Nokomis nursed the little Hiawatha, rocked him in his linden cradle, bedded soft in moss and rushes, safely bound with reindeer sinews, stilled his fretful wail by saying, Hush, the naked bear will hear thee, lulled him into slumber, singing, Ewa ye, my little owlet, who is this that lights the wigwam? With his great eyes lights the wigwam. Ewa ye, my little owlet. Many things Nokomis taught him, of the stars that shine in heaven, showed him Ishkuda the comet, Ishkuda with fiery tresses, showed the death-dance of the spirits, warriors with their plumes and war-clubs, flaring far away to northward in the frosty nights of winter, showed the broad white road in heaven, pathway of the ghosts, the shadows, running straight across the heavens, crowded with the ghosts, the shadows. At the door on summer evenings sat the little Hiawatha, heard the whispering of the pine-trees, heard the lapping of the water, sounds of music, words of wonder. Miniwawa, said the pine-trees, Mudwayoshka, said the water, saw the firefly Wawa Tesi flitting through the dusk of evening, with a twinkle of its candle lighting up the brakes and bushes, and he sang the song of children, sang the song Nokomis taught him. Wawa Tesi, little firefly, little flitting white fire insect, little dancing white fire creature, light me with your little candle, ere upon my bed I lay me, ere in sleep I close my eyelids. Saw the moon rise from the water, rippling rounding from the water, saw the flecks and shadows on it, whispered, What is that, Nokomis? And the good Nokomis answered, Once a warrior, very angry, seized his grandmother, and threw her up into the sky at midnight. Right against the moon he threw her. Tis her body that you see there. Saw the rainbow in the heaven, in the eastern sky, the rainbow, whispered, "'What is that, Nokomis?' And the good Nokomis answered, "'Tis the heaven of flowers you see there, all the wild flowers of the forest, all the lilies of the prairie, when on earth they fade and perish, blossom in that heaven above us.' When he heard the owls at midnight, hooting, laughing in the forest, "'What is that?' he cried in terror. "'What is that?' he said, Nokomis. And the good Nokomis answered, that is but the owl and owlet, talking in their native language, talking, scolding at each other. Then the little Hiawatha learned of every bird its language, learned their names and all their secrets, how they built their nests in summer, where they hid themselves in winter, talked with them whene'er he met them, called them Hiawatha's chickens. Of all beasts he learned the language, learned their names and all their secrets, how the beavers built their lodges, where the squirrels hid their acorns, how the reindeer ran so swiftly, why the rabbit was so timid, talked with them whene'er he met them, called them Hiawatha's brothers. Henry W. Longfellow End of section 21 Read by Kara Schallenberg on October 19, 2006 in Oceanside, California